Now, from the station that's taking action for you, this is ABC Action News. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Dia Ryland. And I'm Dan Schaefer. Topping the news this half hour, a local Muslim group is weighing in on a church's plan to burn the Quran on September 11th. Bill Logan is live in Tampa with this side of the very controversial story. Bill. And Dan, every time we have visited the offices of CARE, the Council for American Islamic Relations, we've received messages of hope, of accommodation, of peace. And that is again the case today as we move toward this ninth anniversary of 9-11. They're turning up the volume, though, here because they say they have to. When that Gainesville preacher started his anti-Muslim crusade with threats of burning the Quran, the folks here at CARE knew they had to respond. And when the calls to quit plans for a mosque within blocks of the World Trade Center site in New York grew more nasty and loud, the message Muslims maintained was one of well-meaning and peace. But few figured that'd be that. My name is Rudy. I'm a clinical pharmacist, a first responder on 9-11, and a Muslim. Well, today, here, the Council on American-Islamic Relations made their statement loud and clear with the release of what they're calling anti-bigotry public service announcements. We want to express with the message of the PSAs today that Muslims aren't foreign, uh, that we are part of America too, and that 9-11 hit all of us hard, and that Muslims were victims and first responders. Ramsey Kilich admits there will be some people who will not get this message. Others may get even further riled up, but presenting the point, or in this case the counterpoint, is imperative. The ability to practice our religion. If we don't have our rights, at the heart of American freedom. You don't have your rights. Salam. Peace. Uh, we want people to know that American Muslims are part of the American fabric uh, and that we, um, we are Americans too. Now, if you're wondering when these announcements are going to appear on air, it might be never. They are public service announcements, which mean that they are run free at the whim and pleasure of broadcasters so these may never see the light of day other than in the context of this story as these folks have to try and get their word out reporting live this noon in tampa bill logan abc action